Ed Lyle from Arundel Veterinary Surgery, thank you for talking to us today. Now we're here at the Brendan Stud um, to go through the process um, for artificial insemination. Um, now what is it and what are the advantages? Well artificial insemination is where we collect semen from a stallion uh, and use that to inseminate a mare so there's no natural mating takes place. Um, the semen is collected, it's processed, packaged and shipped to wherever the mare is. That might be worldwide. Um, if the semen is frozen, that most definitely can be worldwide and it allows us to use semen from uh, stallions that are deceased uh, or stallions that are away competing, that sort of thing. Um, basically, we uh, inseminate the mare when she's in season instead of mating her naturally when she's in season. The advantages are um, there's much less risk of spreading disease. There is still a risk of spreading disease and anybody who's importing semen should be aware of the fact they need to import semen with health papers, particularly mm -hmm. clarifying that the stallion is free from equine viral arteritis. Um, the other advantages are there's no real risk of injury to both mare or stallion. Mm -hmm. So the mating process can be uh, a little dangerous and injuries can happen. Mm. Mares can kick stallions and so on. Um, obviously the stallions nowadays are worth quite large amounts of money and they're very precious to people and they don't want them injured. Sure. So are there any disadvantages? There aren't really any disadvantages. The One of the disadvantages or one of the perceived disadvantages would be the cost of the veterinary input as far as artificial insemination is concerned. But really breeding at any stud farm now, be it natural or AI, the same veterinary practices are applied. So keeping a mare ho at home, you're going to have the same veterinary fees as you will if you send your mare away. So where's the best place to go for advice? If I own a mare and I, I want to go through this process, should I go to my vet first? Yeah, you need to speak to your vet, um, speak to a vet who's qualified uh, and experienced in dealing with uh, breeding by artificial insemination. Right. It is quite specific knowledge, mm -hmm. particularly when it comes to artificial insemination with frozen semen. And how long does the process take? Well, it depends what stage the mare's in when you first see her. Um, what tends to happen is we take charge of the mare's reproductive cycle. So we program her to do what we want when we want her to do it. So mm -hmm. I actually prefer to see mares when they're not in season, usually at the end of a week. Um, particularly if we're using semen that's coming from quite a distance away, often what we're using is coming from Germany and Holland and France, even uh, Sweden and places like that. Mm -hmm. And what we have to be aware of is the fact that the couriers that bring the semen to us only operate uh, specific days of the week so really we can only get semen Tuesdays to Fridays <laughs> um, so what we do is we basically give the mare an injection on a Friday prostaglandin to bring her in season we then look at her on the Monday and I hope by the end of the week we've got them inseminated well, so it's pretty quick actually if someone would know you I wouldn't think it was a that quick a process very quick well, that's amazing so what would you say to people who are thinking about it because you hear all the time you know people have got mares they've had quite a successful career and they've done a tendon or they've gone lame and you, you know straight away they're like right we're going to have a foal is that the right thing to do with your mare? It is if she's worth being bred from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most definitely. And when you say that, though, what do you mean worth being bred from? Well, as long as she's of good temperament, mm -hmm. that she doesn't have terrible conformational faults or something that might be passed on to a foal because you don't want to reproduce a problem that the right. mare has. People breed from mares not only for performance reasons but also for sentimental reasons. They may have a very precious mare that they've owned for a long time sure. and they want to have uh, an offspring from her. So that would be a reason to, to breed, most definitely. So as part of your life as a vet, is, is this process quite taken up now? Because you're quite famous for your work with the artificial insemination. Is it what you enjoy the most? I spend about half of my day during the stud season doing breeding work. And you, do you love it? Yeah. Yeah, you get a lot of peaks. Have you bought one of the foals yet? <laughs> I breed a couple. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yeah. Brilliant, Ed. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.